Hello, my Sockerers, and welcome to the uh, Iberian Leaks review. Have not seen too much from these leaks, but I think we know what the big story is. This is we have finally good news out of Barcelona uh, with the return of Ansu Fati. I mean, that could, may, may not reinvigorate Barcelona. We have to see, but to me, this was in many ways the story of the weekend, although it was not the game of the weekend, uh, but for some reason. I could see that. I want to start to run through the results in Portugal. I mean, it's, if you see it here, it's all wins for the big boys. I mean, Sporting or Maritimo was uh, only a 1-0. Uh, played already on Friday as, as Porto against Gil Vicente, uh, I guess for Champions League reasons. Uh, and in the nominally big clash, Benfica beats Vitoria de Guimaraes 3-3, uh, which was probably of the three the most impressive wins. So that's why Benfica is now on top here because they had the biggest boost going up. Um, we also do not have any big clash come, come, coming up before the international break. Uh, so not much I can tell you in Portugal, except that Benfica is kind of four points ahead of Porto and Sporting who are level. Uh, and that is about it. And they are also expected to win the league. So. Let's go into La Liga. I mean, the shocker of the weekend was that last place Alaves beat Atletico Madrid with an early uh, header, I think after a corner by, uh, of La Guardia, which reminds me, I want to get an Alaves shirt, I want to buy it directly from the Kelme store. They don't ship to Austria. They only ship to France, uh, I think the UK, France, Italy, Portugal, Spain, something ridiculous like that, that I've never heard before. And I even sent them an email, but they won't. So yeah, uh, my 20 or 25 euro Alaves shirt was not bound to happen, although I really liked, liked the one. Um, Atletico turned down too late. Uh, Atletico is having really trouble breaking down defenses or in general. Uh, it, it does At the moment, Atletico Madrid does not look good and uh, Griezmann is completely anemic. As we have known from him, uh, from Barcelona, and that begs quite a few questions. But you know, um, Valencia also kind of so and so, I mean, still have to recover from two losses. Sevilla getting a, a win over Espanyol, so they are moving a uh, tour to the top. I'm still not sure if they will be able to challenge for a title, but you know, if Real Madrid suddenly nil nil again, uh, I was praising Real Madrid to high heaven. And then uh, they only make a nil nil against Villarreal, where probably goal uh, goalie court, 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 uh, was the man of the match. Yes, they could have won it, but in the end, nil nil. Uh, less than impressive. Um, Barcelona against Levante, I think that's what we have to talk about. Um, love because of injuries, no Kuman on the bench. Because of injuries, lots of young players playing, and yeah. The two Dutch up front, the Pai and De Jong get their first uh, goals. The Pai, of course, after a, pen a penalty and Sergio uh, Des uh, assists Luc De Jong, who you know is, is one of those WTF signings. But hey, he got a he he got a goal in the and never showed up. Weird uh, golden jerseys as well. So uh, it was one of those opponents. It means uh, the opponents that come to the camp now and fight it. Levante and Real Sociedad this season were not uh, dead. I heard that uh, many said, yeah, this was maybe Barcelona's best uh, performance of the season. I actually think that the first uh, game against the Real Sociedad was definitely better. But yeah, uh, Levante was, was, was a non-factor. But the big scene, of course, was that Ansu Fati came on in the 81st minute um, with the number 10 shirt. Wouldn't we know who is it? And then he even scores. I think he came even, I mean, it was an 11 month that he was gone, uh, had a few operations, comes back, scores, everyone happy, even opposition teams. Uh, and you saw it in, in, in the celebrations, how they lift him up, everyone coming to him, yes, here, here you are, maybe there's something hap hap happening. Also, uh, you know, you had the uh, young players, a lot of young young players, I think there is a future for Barcelona, but the future is not now. This is a little bit like I saw with Milan two years ago. It will take two or three years until this is going again. Um, two other big results is Real Sociedad uh, moving up at the currently into second place with a win over Elche. Real Sociedad jersey, still need that one. Uh, and Real Betis um, is becoming one of the and more entertaining teams to watch. 2-0 uh, over Getafe. Getafe who has not won 
a game yet, so uh, interesting stuff there. And then yesterday, Celta against um, Granada, a 1-0 win, which puts them a little bit into trouble. Uh, I'm just looking over the results. Yes, we have the big game, Atletico against Barcelona. Atletico having egg, egg actually quite an interesting week. Milan away and then Barcelona at home. Uh, that could uh, go a long way seeing where this season uh, will go. Uh, Slip again, Villarreal against Betis, but Villarreal I don't think is that uh, attractive to watch because they are a team that is hardly ever losing but also hardly ever winning. So yeah, uh, that was it from me, a rather short and sweet video, but I think that's fine. From what happened in uh, Portugal and in Spain in the, in, 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 in the leagues. I hope I'll be able to watch a little bit more next time around. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, add anything you want for these two leagues uh, below and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!